Hello, hello guys. So how are we today? So I'm Jackie from Pocket of Preschool and today I wanted to show you, if you can kind of see in the background, my new science unit that's perfect for fall or spring. It's all about leaves and trees. And I know a lot of you have been asking for a leaves science unit, so this is one of the surprise units that's gonna be included. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is how I organize it. So I take the unit and I put it in these page protectors. So let me flip it around and show you that part. All my units come with these labels and I'm just stores from Michael's. You can take my teacher pages in page protectors and I put them on a ring. This also works if you're a binder girl, you can just make it into a binder. There's like a glare. It's really bright in here today. Um, so as you can see, this works again for fall or spring. So I put all my teacher pages in here and it's packed with tons and tons of real pictures from the classroom. That way I have everything. I don't have to search. It's all in one place. And on the back, like here is the tree for all seasons activities. Um, I put the recording pages that the kiddos do on the back. That way I have those and I can just copy them as I need. So that's kind of how I organize the unit. And let me show you my science table. So with every um, science unit, I have things to make your science table, science center, science shelf, whatever you have in your classroom, amazing. Because we all know the classroom is, or the environment the kiddos are in, is the child's third teacher or second teacher, <laughs> however many teachers you have, the one after that. Um, so that way they can be purposeful. And I, so, I have all of my vocabulary cards, again, all real pictures. So I have kind of the parts of a tree and kind of the different types of seeds um, and seed um, things that trees come in. Like, um, like there's acorns and sweet gumballs and pine cones and seed pods. Um, and then there's, again, the different parts like the crown and the roots and the branches and the leaves. And I put them on clips. That way the kids can take them off or I can take them off if we're doing um, a circle time or a small group and we need to focus on a vocabulary word, I can take it off and I can focus on those vocabulary words and just be a little bit more purposeful with my vocabulary. Um, I also have the parts of a tree, a little poster here. Um, it has a book list, a little one. Um, there's like four books that I love, Leaves and Trees. So this is one of them. And then here is there's also a read aloud included. So this one is the read aloud that's included. Again, it has real. That way you don't have to go out and buy another book. There's one in cable I have set up. I'm gonna kind of turn it weird. Um, it's kind of like a sorting exploration. So I have some sorting boards out and then I have just the different colors. And then I just have real things from nature. So I have some pine cones and I have some acorns. And then these are just the vocabulary cards, just printed smaller. That way if you wanna label the items to add some more print, um, in your center, you can do that. And then I have some branches and some bark. And then I have leaves. So these I actually laminated. And then these, you can tell I literally just went to the forest or outside and I grabbed some leaves. So you can use real leaves, you can use laminated leaves, or I know for some of you that live um, down in the south, sometimes maybe your leaves don't even change. So I included a whole bunch of real photographs of leaves. So that way, you have them included in the pack, and or maybe the leaves haven't changed in your area yet, but um, these will work for you if you don't have leaves that change color. And you can also do this if you, I know a lot of my friends who, who use creative curriculum do a unit on trees, so you can also do this and just do um, green leaves. And I have some different sorting cards included. Where are they? Here they are. So I also have some that are pointy and round, and then here's another sorting board, and this is small. I actually changed this to large, so in the pack it's actually large. Um, so it says like light green, dark green, and just green, um, too. So you can sort by green if you're doing it in the spring and you only have green leaves. And you can print, if you have a small center, print anything in this pack smaller. So here's the read aloud, just printed smaller. And then here are the rest of the vocabulary cards printed smaller. Here is a family note, so they can continue that learning at home. So I have, and they have the different types of lines. So there's a dotted line, a double line, and then a single line, and then there's covers. 
And then here are a couple of the other tables you could set up. So you could have just all of the nature materials. And you could just put out some cubes and then they could measure and then they could sort between short and long. Or here's a higher level. They could do short, medium, and long. So they could just sort by size. It's totally up to you. And then I have the scale. So they can explore the items, talk about which one is heavy and which one is light. And I have the different kinds of scales so that way you can use the one that you have in your classroom. And these also work for worksheets and they can just glue the items on as well. And then here are the kind of the sorting anchor charts I have. Um, so you can see here's the other sorting cards. And these are just bigger than the little ones. Um, so that way you can do it whole group. I have light green, green, and dark green. And so this one you can kind of see I just did um, the different, like, like if you do it in the spring, those are probably the colors you would find. But if you do it in the fall, here's probably what you would find. And again, these are all laminated leaves that I laminated. And that will make them last longer too if you laminate them. Just be really careful when you're laminating them not to break your laminator. And then I have a nature hunt, so you can take the kiddos outside and go on a nature hunt and they can just mark what they see. They could also tally if you want to add some counting. And then here is the tree for like a season type activity, so you can talk about what trees look like in different seasons. This is actually an interactive chart, so they actually have to put it in the right order. And it's a great time too to talk about the different kinds of trees, how some trees, the evergreen trees, do not lose their leaves in the, in the um, winter. So you can talk about that too. Um, and there is a recording page. And then there's the big um, cards as well of the trees in different seasons. And then I have the parts of a tree. And I know you guys have been requesting some Label It recording pages. Some of my kinder teachers have. So I included a tree Label It recording page. I'm going to try and go back and add the recording pages to the other Label It activities. Label It recording page to the other packs. Like I'll add one to the pumpkin and the apple pack. Um, so yeah, so thanks for your feedback, friend. So th that's just an anchor chart. And I actually laminate my anchor chart pieces. That way next year, all I do is just take my anchor chart apart um, and then I put it back in my file. And I do do this as a class. And if you color on your laminated pieces with like a Sharpie, um, just use it, color it with a dry erase and then it erases. It's so awesome. But yeah, so make sure again you do the recording pages, or not the recording pages, you do the anchor charts with the class. Otherwise, it's just like a poster. But it also, if you want just a poster on the wall, you can do it yourself. But these um, anchor charts are being made to, do, to be done with the class, whole group, small group, whatever. So that's kind of the leaves and trees unit. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. Give you just one more quick tour of everything. Alrighty, so you guys have a fabulous day.